it's a decent blend of sci-fi, comedy, and drama. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about the Netflix show Zero. It's an eight-episode show. They're like 25 minutes each. Uh, first things first, watch it in the Italian audio. That's the original audio. When you put it in the English audio, the characters sound weird and funny. And at times, this show can be a little serious. It has some serious moments, and you don't really feel it when you watch it with the English audio. So watch it with the Italian audio and English subtitles. Um, but you follow um, Omar. He lives in this place called the Barrio. He doesn't really like it there. He's a loner. Um, he has this ability to disappear. And that's how he feels while he walks around. He feels like he's invisible. Um, he's also an artist, a cartoonist. He draws, um, you know, this superhero called Zero. That's the title of the show. Um, and it's amazing. It's based on black characters and people he knows. Um, and he lives with his father and his sister. Something happened with his mom. Like you see a portrait of her and he doesn't really like portraits, which is strange as he's an artist. Um, but he's like, something happened to her and he doesn't really know, but he thinks it's his fault. Uh, so one day Omar runs into this local group. This kid named Sharif uh, wants to hurt him and he reveals his secret ability. So Sharif wants to use that ability. And Omar is hesitant at first because he thinks like they're bad people. Um, but Sharif runs with like his local group and they care about the neighborhood. They might be a little bit of like troublemakers at times, but they're not like the bad people. So you have Sarah. She's strong minded. She can keep the guys in place for the most part. Uh, Sharif is the leader of the group. He always has ideas to, you know, what they should do. Momo is the comic relief. And this guy named Innocence, he's there, but he's not really there for the important things. Um, so they're trying to protect their neighborhood. Basically, this rich guy's hiring, you know, criminals to devalue the neighborhood, you know, commit crimes, you know, burn things down, destroy property so that the property value goes down. The company can come in, buy it for a lower, lower value and then sell it, you know, for a higher price. And Omar gets caught up in all of this. You know, he again, he starts off as a loner, but as the story goes, he he learns to love the neighborhood. He learns to grow. He has friends for the first time, you know, outside of his family. Um, he's really close with his sister. He doesn't really rock with his father like that um, because his he knows his father is holding something back about what happened to his mom. So they they butt heads a little bit and he has to rely on these group of people that he just really met. Uh, mainly Sharif. They have like this brotherhood that starts to form and bond. And it's good seeing, you know, their interactions from the first time they meet where Omar doesn't really like him or trust him at all. And then after they go through some things together, they grow, you know, and it's like a family, essentially. And Omar has to do a lot of different things, you know, not just with his abilities, but we're coming up with plans, you know, for the whole group to, to save their neighborhood. Um, the show is interesting because there's a lot of moving parts in the background. Like everybody is intertwined with each other. He meets a girl named Anna. She has something to do with something else. And that person has something to do with something else. You see one character in early episode, but you don't see them again until like the last two episodes. But they have a lot of a lot to do with the story. And it's set up for a season two. And I'm really interested to see where they go because he starts figuring out things about his family and you know, where his ability comes from and how it may affect his sister. So there's a lot of questions going into season two. But for our first season, it's not too long. The characters are likable, again, with the Italian audio, because without it, they sound very cartoonish. Um, there are some serious moments where Sharif and, and Omar have to talk to each other. And it's it's emotional for them, you know, the conversations they have. it Like, it, it's silly at times, like, one character in particular gets, you know, stabbed, but the way he gets stabbed is, it's funny in a way, you know, it, it's a serious moment, but the way it happens, he screams and it's like, it's funny. But, you know, they do have their ser serious moments, um, you know, because they're trying to protect this neighborhood from the, the bad forces that, you know, are trying to just kick people out, you know, and put them on the street. But it's a cool, 
it's a cool first season. I enjoyed it. Um, it's called Zero on Netflix. If you watched it, let me know what you thought about it. Are you interested in a season two? Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.